Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you are doing well. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what is being hidden from you. So I'm very excited to get into this reading. I definitely have a feeling that there's going to be um, lots of very interesting truths revealed. So thank you for tuning in. Um, I did want to say here that there will be an extended to this video, the timestamps, uh, the links for those will be in the description box. As well, you can always book a personal reading with me at www.readingswithrally.com. So without further ado, let's take a look here at the options. Pile one, we have the rose quartz. Pile two, we have the amethyst oxyhedron. And pile three, we have the serpentine. So of course, if you did need some more time, you can go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Okay. Hello, hello, pile number one. If you chose this particular stone, then this is your reading. Let me go ahead here and tap in. Spirit, can you please connect me to the energy of the collective that chose pile number one? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile one so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate what you bring to the table so much. We just have a lot of gratitude. So thank you for everything that you've done for us. Okay. Okay, pile number one. There's a lot coming through. Just give me one second here. I'm seeing rabbits, which are for me, my sign of sexual interest. I just have to start off by saying that. I do feel some of you are catching the attention of a different person, or you might be getting ready here to have someone advance towards you um, in a sexual way. Some of you guys are really going to start standing up for yourself as well. I'm getting an activation here of the throat chakra. Someone's name here could start with an L. I'm hearing Lauren, Laurel, Lamont, Lacey, Lanny. I'm getting L names here, but I'm really getting a lot of uh, blue around your throat chakra. So I feel like some of you might be, you know, forced to kind of confront someone or to really step into a position of power. What else, please? What's being hidden from pile one? Seven of cups in reverse. Someone has decided that they're making a choice and they're deciding that the choice is that they've decided to pick you essentially. I feel like someone who could have been playing you in the past is now gonna come forth. They wanna build a solid connection with you. They wanna build a connection where it's um, just you and them against the world. This person could have been a bit of a player in the past. Strength in reverse. Uh, this person could be a Leo, sun, moon, or rising, or you guys could have Leo in your chart. Something could have happened here around Leo season. I do feel like this person has a massive ego. Okay, I have to be honest with you. This person does feel like they really let their ego ruin this connection in the past. I feel an apology is coming from this person. I'm hearing unforgettable, so this person really does think that you're very unforgettable. Nine of, wow, nine of swords. Okay, pile number one, this person has been hella anxious about you, okay? I feel like there is something that this person can't seem to shake. I feel they could be having nightmares about you. This person might be getting into legal issues here. I'm hearing Uncle Sam. Um, so this person could be getting into tax trouble, specifically if they live in the United States. As well, there could be an issue here with um, someone's actual uncle. There's a lot of stress. There's anxiety. Um, there's really a lack of faith that this person has. And I kind of think that they're going through a period of time where they're facing a lot of issues regarding what it is that they did here to you. There's a lot of noise interference from the outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, hope not, but I am feeling like you guys will be um, approached by lots of different people or there's gonna be lots of people communicating with you. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so another thing that's being hidden from you, pile number one, is I do feel finances are going to start to improve. I feel like you guys are going to be um, receiving more money. This is coming across as a benefit. Um, if you've been working on something, you're finally going to start to see it coming into fruition. 
I feel like you're heavily focused on yourself, you're focused on your grind and your hustle, and because of that, you're achieving a lot of financial success and people are noticing. I am hearing for some of you, this person from the past, they could have really decided that you weren't someone who was worth pursuing, um, but this person refused to see your worth. I kind of feel like spirit was hiding how special you were from this person. And it's like now that you're stepping into more advancement, specifically with your career, this person feels like they want to come back into your life and offer you something. So just be wary of that because that, that's not very authentic here. We have friends and colleagues and we have a creative endeavor. So I get a very big um, emphasis here on creation. You guys are in this really creative energy. You might be um, like literally content creators. Some of you could be entrepreneurs. Um, I do feel like you are going to be given a chance here to escalate some sort of thing you make and actually achieve a fair amount of financial success from it. Some of you are getting ready here to shift your friends or your colleagues. So you might be receiving new friends new positions. Next half a year is going to be very, very um, expansive for you. We have joyous fun in reverse. I do also feel here like for many of you, you guys are not really focusing on having fun. You're in serious work mode right now. And I think I'm really picking up um, what's being hidden from you is like that hard work, those sacrifices that you have made, you're finally going to start to see things starting to pay off in your favor. I'm feeling like you guys could have, again, we have Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so I'm not, this probably is not surprising, but some of you are really like crossing your T's and dotting your I's on something. You are working very, very hard, and Spirit's wanting me to say that you're definitely going to start to see things working out in your favor. So new people coming in, some of you could learn um, a new hobby like painting or art, music. Yeah, and this might be my pile. You know what I just started doing? Just a little side note. Those like paint by number things. I have to say, like I'm just looking for a creative hobby I can do after this. I have this surgery. Um, and I have to say it's very soothing. So some of you could be surprised by how much you tend to lean into some sort of a um, artistic endeavor here. We have invisibility, authenticity. You guys are also in this state here of really being very clear with what you bring to the table. And I think because of that, um, you're in this very, very attractive energy. You have a lot of people noticing you, a lot of people desiring you, a lot of people wanting to um, kind of take your energy. And I think you are really in this pattern of stepping more and more towards your own authentic expression, even if it means blocking other people or um, you know, not really letting other people influence what it is that you want to create for yourself. It's truly like you just don't care. You care mostly about the way that you're being perceived um, and you care mostly that you're authentic to your own spirit. This is starting to pay off. We have vampire emotional intelligence. Okay, you guys have a very high EQ, okay? Some of you could be very, very intuitive um, emotionally, like this card says. I also feel here like somebody around you could be revealed to be a bit of an energy vampire. So this is an energy I'm getting as well. You could have to say goodbye to someone around you who just hasn't been honoring or treating you with the respect and with the kindness that you deserve. Lucky. Lucky come. Come here. Sorry. I can just hear him. He's too quiet. And we have midnight, the most magical hour of all. Someone here is also heavily dreaming about you or there's a heavy focus that this person is not able to stop thinking about. Lucky come. Sorry, you guys, one second. Where's your brother? Go get your brother. I'm just going to go find this kid. Oh, he's right there. Never mind. Oh my God, the poor thing. He's sleeping at my feet. Sorry. I'm sorry. So again, you might be surprised by something. Um, I just felt really cold, like I needed to get lucky. Um, because whenever they're super quiet, that means they're typically doing something wrong. Um, but here he was sleeping at my feet the whole time. So you could be miss, like you could be needing to see something that's right in front of your eyes. Okay. But anyways, back to the actual cards. We have midnight, the most magical hour of all. There could very well be someone who is dreaming about you or um, sending you almost like a psychic attack in your sleep. You guys might need to start to protect yourself when you sleep. What else here? 
you're heavily on this the on um, a lot of individuals minds and I feel there's a regret energy we have werewolf exploring wildness I kind of get the sense that you guys are really also facing your shadow side head on and because of this you're you're doing a lot of very deep inner work and you're becoming more and more aware of where you might need to make changes we have skull of darkness on the bottom of the deck with blind spots so like i literally couldn't see lucky who was right in front of me there might be something right in front of your face that you're missing and you're going to become a little bit more clear or get to see things um, with a bit more clarity coming up here we also have carriage a journey either physical or mental so another thing that is being hidden from you is that it's possible you guys are going to go on some sort of a trip and this is going to bring some kind of deep happiness to you i feel like your spirit is becoming more and more clear about where it wants you to go someone here could just be turning 21 or the 21st birthday is significant here where you could be relating back to something you were really tapping into when you were much much younger we have stork news of a birth or a new business opportunity so there's a lot of energy here too with you guys getting stronger and stronger um, in terms of being able to manifest something for yourself i do think here you know some of you could be getting pregnant or again there's this emphasis on business that's really coming through here so you guys could be achieving some sort of success here that is surprising um or you weren't expecting it we also have ink pot with problems to be resolved someone could write you a message Someone may want to write you a message. They might want to communicate with you via a message, but there's definitely an energy of somebody near you wanting to get your energy or to get your attention to apologize. I'm hearing, won't you please forgive me? So this person feels like they really did mess up and they are looking for your forgiveness. So yes, pile number one, that is what I have for you today. Very interesting. I'm sorry I went a little bit crazy there looking for my puppy. Um, but there will be an extended, I'm going to get into more different decks. But this feels very interesting to me. I definitely feel like you guys are kind of in this take no shit attitude. And I have to say, I really do quite like it. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. <coughs> okay. Hello, hello, pile number two. If you chose the oxyhedron, then this is your reading. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let me go ahead here and tap into your energy, first of all. Spirit, can you please connect me into the energy of the collective that chose pile number two? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile two so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your kindness, and for your accuracy. It means so much to us. We just have a lot of gratitude for you. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. We really do appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm hearing juicy, so I feel like something's going to happen around you that is very, very juicy. Um, I'm seeing celery juice, so uh, um, some of you could be paying more attention here to your health. Some of you are overcoming some sort of an addiction. And I'm also feeling like someone is going to get some sort of significant dental surgery that's going to change their smile. Okay, spirit. Pile two, please. What's being hidden from pile twos? What is being hidden from pile twos? What is being hidden from pile twos, please? What is being hidden from pile twos? We have Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Judgment. Okay. Some of you guys, pile two, have enemies that are going to start to be revealed. You're going to really start to see the gaps in these people's lives around you. I do feel like um, you're going to start to really be able to stand up for yourself. You could be very much witnessing somebody around you who just has weird intentions towards you. You know what I'm hearing? What's that thing called? Telephone. I don't know if you guys played that game when you were little. <coughs> but you would hear something about... Like there, someone would say something and go around a circle and the the context would change a little bit like slightly before it got to you. So I feel like someone here could be playing telephone tag with you. You could receive a surprise phone call or you're just going to hear something that surprises you or somebody as well with that telephone game I'm thinking of could be spreading a piece of um, gossip about you that's not true. I'm hearing someone say you really let me down. Someone's name here could start with an M, Mary, Mandy, Maria. 
Marco, Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, some of you here are really gaining uh, more clarity on what you want to create, specifically in relation to your family unit. For some of you, there could be a significant divorce or separation happening within your family um, as well. I'm hearing Cruel Summer. So some of you could have felt like this summer was unusually harsh or you had to go through a lot of shifting. There's an emphasis here on your stability though. You're really thinking about, okay, well, what do I want to create for myself? Um, what kind of a life do I want to lean into? And because of that, I do see you guys gaining clarity on something very important here. Some of you could be also hanging out a lot with friends or you could make some new friends that actually want to hang out. Some of you feel a little bit lonely, I think. Or there hasn't been that feeling of having good people around you. This is about to change. What else here? We have decrease. You guys are becoming more and more protective of your own energy too. Um, and I think people around you are really seeing that. You could be pressured by others. Kindred partnership and the sacred temple, okay. I feel like some of you guys are already connecting with a major partner and um, this could be in the astral. And again, I was seeing that celery. Okay. So some of you are definitely um, becoming more aware of your body or wanting to give in to really treating their body like the temple that it is. I kind of get a reflective energy. You guys might not be so open towards other people. You're focusing very much on yourself. You're really working a lot here with spirit as well. I do think that is very uh, strong here. And you, again, you might be connecting with someone in the 3D already. Some of you are very highly blessed and favored by the divine. And I think you have a very good connection here with your um, spiritual team. What else here? What's being hidden from Pal 2s? What is being hidden from my Pal 2s? We have dawn, the light after the darkness. So for those of you especially who have been feeling a little bit alone or a little bit left out of um, the fabric of, you know, being able to actually see movement here, I do feel like things are going to start to shift and you're going to start to feel a lot more like you're finally seeing what you wanted become clear. Achieving some sort of manifestation here. Some of you here, I'm hearing tongue-tied, so some of you could finally learn how to speak up for yourself properly. There's a sense of really uh, becoming more and more strong in the person that you are and in what you bring to the table. What else here? We have ancestors, the lo love and legacy of our DNA. You have a lot of support from spirit, and um, again, I think many of you are very favored, but this could be also spirit, uh, your actual ancestors coming through to communicate with you. Some of you could smell smoke, like cigar smoke, or um, like a very heavy perfume when your ancestors are around. I'm also feeling like some of you do get goosebumps or tingles. So this is a sign that your ancestors are with you. There could just be a sense here of like um, clearing a lot of family trauma as well. Some of you are really doing some heavy, heavy lifting in regards to that. You have a lot of support to clear right now. We have Owl. Why seeing wise action? You guys are very protected by your spiritual team. I feel like um, you get a lot of hits intuitively that are actually being created from spirit. Some of you could be seeing owls or you could have a lot of owl um, like imagery around you that's a sign as well of your spiritual team i'm also hearing issues with electricity so some of you could really start to pick up on electrical malfunctions around you this is because you have a very powerful energy you could notice lights flickering when you enter the room or you guys are very very connected is honestly what i feel here i think your spiritual team works very closely with you we have that take care enemies are working against you so again, we have lots of creatures, like look, here's the owl here even. So lots of owl imagery. But for some of you, um, there are people who are specifically wanting you to not be able to achieve what it is that you're meant to achieve. So you could have individuals around you trying to block you from your success. You could feel this intuitively. I'm hearing Love Yourself. I think it's by Justin Bieber. So some of you could be Bieber heads, um, but others of you, I just feel like are really turning 
the energy that you are giving to other people towards yourself. And because of this, there is a lot of negative energy being sent your way because people are trying to steal from you energetically. You have shield, you need to defend yourself. Okay, some of you guys here could really benefit from utilizing some sort of a protection mechanism um, for yourself, okay? You could want to get a protection stone, maybe a kyanite or a black onyx. Um, but I do feel here there's gossip. And that's funny because I kept getting that image of the telephone. I feel though, for this particular group, I'm already hearing the rock bottom. Some of you guys have really already hit rock bottom. So it's like whatever is being said to you now, I'm almost getting this feeling of like, it can't possibly be worse than what I've already gone through. We have four leaf clover, great good fortune. And here's the thing too, I get that a lot of these individuals are levying against you or rallying against you because they feel very strongly like um, you're about to achieve some sort of success and they're jealous essentially. Some of you could also be getting ready to travel. I'm hearing Budapest, which is very specific, but some of you could be ready, getting ready to travel maybe to Europe or a minor European country. Um, but I do feel you have luck on your side and not only that, but you seem to have a lot of spiritual support, which I mean, people can be mad about that, but it's not gonna stop that support from continuing to be around you. So yes, that is what I have for you, pile two. Very interesting. Um, there will be an extended to this. I'm very excited about that. There's going to be lots of different things we're going to discuss there. Um, what else did I want to say here? I guess I just wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for being here. Honestly, it just means a lot to me. I really, really do appreciate you guys so much. Um, I hope that you are having just a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello, hello, pile number three. If you chose the serpentine, then this is your reading. Let me go ahead here and tap into your energy. Give me one second. Spirit, can you please connect me to the energy, please, of the collective that chose pile number three? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your kindness, and for your clarity. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you bring to us, okay? For some of you, something here has been shattered, okay? This could be an illusion. I'm also hearing for someone here, their heart. So you guys have recently gone through some sort of surprising moment here. I'm hearing lots of people discussing you or talking about you here too. Um, they could also be talking about your health. Someone here is going to become a little bit more health conscious. You might see some sort of like an old project pick back up here as well. And you might finally start to see success with that project is another thing I'm hearing. So I do get surprises here. I think though some of you have really felt like the rug has been pulled out from under you. And there's a bit of a sense of like um, anxiety around that. Okay, spirit pile three. What do we need to know? What's being hidden from my pile threes, please? What's being hidden from them? Thank you. Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Wands. Okay, someone here could be getting ready to make you some sort of an offer. This could be to go out on a date. Um, this could be to, uh, as a new business project. Some of you are getting pregnant and giving birth to a baby girl. I feel like there's been a lot of energy around you of people power tripping for some reason. I kind of get that your connections are going to become a little bit more sustainable where you're actually going to feel like you are bumping shoulders with people who truly value you. What's being hidden from pile three? So a change, a change in your relationships. What's being hidden from pile three? Six of wands, I love it. Victory. Especially if you guys resonate with, you know, that rug being pulled out from under you. I, I just want to let you know here that there is um, victory coming. Some of you could end up taking a dance class as well. I feel like you're kind of turning a lot of energy onto yourself. So people could have been mad at you for not performing or not giving them the energy that they wanted from you. But I really get a, a change here. You're focusing a lot more on what you want. What do you want to create for yourself? You're not just thinking about other people anymore. We have temperance and the king of cups, okay. Some of you could be getting ready here to meet a new person. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart or um, king of cups. So we have uh, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sag. Really, that's what's coming through. 
It could be someone from the past who's finally going to re-approach you, or you could end up meeting someone who does feel like they have some sort of a um, old school or like a psychic connection or bond with you. For some of you, this person's name could be Hunter, okay? Or this person just has like a very strong warrior spirit. They know what they want and they typically get what they want too. So I kind of feel like this person is going to catch you off guard with exactly how focused they are on you. Not only that, but if you guys have been focused on something, I do see you finally being able to get the success that you want. What else here? Pile three, loving woman. You guys are really tapping into your divine and feminine regardless of what gender you identify with. There's just a lot of receptive energy coming up. And again, especially if you've been going through a period of time where you know, you've been on edge because you felt a lot of stress or pressure, this is really, really going to be um, a very good turn of events. Your heart chakra is opening. Someone's name here could be Mona. Hearing Mona Lisa, someone could be traveling to Paris. Intuition and manifestation. Lots of really, really strong intuitive energy here. Look, travel on the bottom of the deck, so I was just picking that up. That's funny. But I feel some of you guys are truly getting more and more psychically attuned. Um, and so there's this very strong energy of finally being able to see the truth of something. You guys might be working with different manifestation techniques or powers. I'm hearing studying. Some of you are really studying the law of attraction. I'm definitely though hearing someone wanting to come forth and apologize. I do think someone knows that they owe you an apology. Optimism. The energy around you is just getting brighter. Something that's being hidden from you is that um, brighter days are coming. Again, there could be travel. Specifically, I'm feeling like European travel as well. That's funny. I got that for another pile here too. But I'm getting a lot of time spent in nature. Some of you could be growing your hair long. It'll finally start to pick up for you. Or changing your appearance as well. We have cauldron, synergy, and healing. I think you guys really took like a very difficult series of events. And instead of allowing them to um, define you, you've started to really step into expansiveness on your own. And because of that, you have a lot to be proud of. Um, you've really worked very, very hard to get to where you're at. And I don't feel some of you give yourself nearly enough credit. I'm hearing what a perfect day. So another thing that I am picking up here is spirit, I think is really going to surprise you with um, just some fun memories that you can really hold on to that will make you feel very happy and secure in yourself. We have dawn, the light after the darkness, just a very, very bright energy here of moving into a new stage of your life, which I think you guys have been hoping and praying for. Someone is coming towards you too that is very, very sexual, I think. Um, this person has a lot of passion. I'm, I'm meeting, I, I'm meeting, I feel like you're going to be meeting a lot of new people. I mean, just keep hearing people introduce themselves to you. We have Lady de los Muertos, acceptance and equality. So I think you're really stepping a lot more into your power. You're realizing how, you know, you might have been playing small or disallowing your own self to thrive. And there's a lot of energy of you stepping into more awareness of what you bring to the table as well as what you deserve. Look at this. We have rose romances in the air. So a lot of what's being hidden from you here as well is just like the sheer amount of happiness that's going to be available to you soon. I just kind of feel you really stepping into a feeling of acceptance and the feeling of um, being treated with the love and the care that you deserve. Because I feel for this group, you guys have been through quite a lot of people not really valuing you. Someone here is just, they think you're very, very beautiful. I'm hearing uh, <laughs> dynamite, okay? So there's definitely someone who's paying close attention to you um, and really feeling like you're the person that they wanna be with. This person could be European as well. I'm getting something here about Europe again. We have eye psychic ability, trust your intuition. Your intuitive sense is opening up here massively as well. I just kind of get the sense of you really feeling like um, you're starting to tap more into your intuition. And because of that, I'm hearing someone say things are just better now. So I think this 
added um, element of being able to see and really believe and trust yourself is going to add a lot of joy into, into your life because it just kind of feels like you're finally going to have the clarity that you want as well as be able to see the truth of what you desire. We have pin, new job and career. So again, I just feel a lot of energy here with movement around you. Um, I think that some of you guys have really been changing the way that you view yourselves and the way that you do work. And because of that, you're stepping into a lot more acceptance of yourself and a lot more expansiveness here too. So overall, that energy just feels very, very good to me. It's like you finally are going to be able to move ahead um, in a job where you're properly valued. I'm literally just hearing someone say, this is the best day of my life. So I kind of feel like you are about to be pleasantly surprised by something that's going to occur for you. So yes, pile three, that is what I have for you. Um, there will be an extended to this video. Uh, the timestamps for the, or the links for that will be in the description box. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Sending you lots of blessings.